I'm Elise Explosion. This year has been extremely, extremely difficult for pretty much everybody. Uh, global pandemic, lots of other stuff that I don't want to get into because it may be vaguely political. It's been hard, but it's been especially hard on small businesses. I come from the convention scene and a lot of my friends who are used to selling at in-person events, we haven't had any this year. And it's been extremely hard to just kind of keep your head above water. And you know, when Amazon can get you things in like a day and same with Target and Walmart, it makes it really hard for the little guys to stand out. And what I wanted to do is I wanted this video to be a showcase of some of my dearest friends who also have incredible businesses. Now, I put out a call on Twitter and I did not expect the overwhelming response I got. Like literally when I last looked at the post, it had over 160 replies. There's no way I can cover all 160 plus shops. What I did was I picked out about 10 shops that I really wanted to highlight. I wanted to highlight them because I think that they're not only are they great people, they have really incredible, interesting products that would make great gifts for this holiday season. If you are interested in seeing the full list of everybody that was kind enough to reply, I will link it in my description. Check it out. There were, oh my gosh, just from what I scrolled through, there was, you know, uh, witchy stuff, bath products, lotions, bath bombs, art jewelry, all kinds of really incredible things, and then some, but I chose to focus on 10 today. So first up is uh, my dear friend Mel over at Jelly Buns. Now Mel is a visual artist and illustrator. Mel does pins, patches, stickers, prints, very, very cool art that I'm excited to share, but I think my favorite favorite thing like I, I really there's so much in here <laughs> Woo! that uh, I wanted to just basically kind of go through that's a letter um, she's got little stickers little animals and food and I think that's Froppy from uh, or Tsuyu I think her name is from My Hero Academia this is, there's some, oh, that's upside that's down. Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. Uh, but she also has some really, really lovely enamel pins. And we're gonna get close-ups on all of these, but there's, there's so much in here that I'm excited to share with everybody <laughs> um, and my sister. But she's got some really, really lovely pins. And I just, when I saw what she had, I was super, super stoked. And everybody's shop links will be in the description. So please check them out. So next I wanted to highlight Maria and Claire of Memento Mori Amori. Uh, now they actually have two separate shops, but I know them as we vend and they vend together. Maria does really, really lovely crocheted and knit plush, uh, as well as I think she does like shawls and other garments, scarves, hats. Uh, but I wanted to highlight her little bean birds, you know, hold them gentle like hamburger. They're so cute and they're wonderful, wonderful little gifts. They're actually kind of nice, like stress toys. <laughs> they're good for squish. And she does them in a whole bunch of different colors and they're just, they're fun, they're cute. It's a wide variety of sizes. So this is, I think, the smallest one you can get. She's got yeah. some that are like this big. They look like basketballs, they're basket burbs extremely cute extremely fun claire uh her 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 side uh she does sculpted uh bird statues and this is a very fittingly a plague bird that i picked up from her a couple years back uh not only does she do bird sculptures but she does art prints uh she also has i believe uh some work in a comic anthology about cthulhu so the, the sculptures come in a wide variety. This is one of the larger pieces. I just think it's, I just think it's neat, uh, but it's very, very dear, very special. And check them out. They are wonderful. 
Next up, I wanted to talk about the wonderful Shahar over at Foxgrove Creations. Uh, she makes beautiful beaded jewelry. Now, uh, I actually wore a piece of hers for my wedding, and I'm gonna pop that in so you can see right there. Uh, but what I do have with me at the moment is a beautiful, beautiful beaded bracelet. And she puts so much care into these pieces. And she, if you are looking for custom work, she will work with you to make the piece that you want. And I really, I just, I love her work. It's beautiful. Go check her out if you are in the market for any type of jewelry, especially ones that would benefit from a personal touch. Next up is the wonderful, wonderful Sarah, friend of the show. Uh, she has been selling some cool stickers through at her Blue Bunny Art Studios. Now, I the ones that like, okay, there are some really gorgeous ones here. She has a lot of like spooky inspired ones, uh, very like Halloween vibes, PSL autumn style. Uh, but the ones that I really wanted to focus on are she did a really cool set of Pokemon with succulents and you got little Bulbasaur with the succulent and Charmander and Squirtle and I just she did such a great job with them and these are really high quality glossy stickers. Uh, I don't think I would put them on a car but I would put them on a laptop. Sarah has been a good friend of the channel. She's been in so many videos. COVID's been really hard for us. Uh, typically she'd probably be here with me for this, but go check her stuff out. Next up is the incredible Duchess of Eternally Thirsty. Uh, Duchess is so cool. She has really awesome, uh, you guys have actually probably seen me wear these in a bunch of the Spooptober videos. Uh, she makes custom horns and I'm just gonna kinda like balance them on here. They're great. You look just about perfect. Yeah. Duchess also sources really cool spooky jewelry, wares, and all kinds of things. I'm gonna take these off before I send them flying. Um, she also, uh, my necklace, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's bird skulls, and I got that from Duchess as well. So she is really awesome. Check out her stuff if you have an affinity for the gothic, for the steampunk, you know, the alternative fashion, totally up your alley. Next up is my girl Ellen over at Imaginarium Arts. And Ellen is also a longtime friend of me personally, uh, but she just got her uh, online store up and running. And when she shared, first off, can I just show you guys how beautifully she packaged this? It's awesome. I love it. Um, obviously you can't see what's inside because she put her business card on it, but, uh, she sent me a real, uh, I'm sorry, I bought, I spent money to purchase a really lovely, unique art print. And I mean, come on, she's got horns, she's got pink hair. It's pink. I love this. Ellen has a really awesome art style, totally, totally versatile, extremely colorful. And if that screams, oh, she also does custom uh, upcycled earrings. So if any of those tickle your fancy, go check her out. Next up is the magnificent Chloe over at Voidcraft. She, Chloe, makes incredible custom plush. Like, she made this Pukabuku loaf. How cool is this Pukabuku loaf? Like, these are totally unique. Uh, individually made, hand sewn polka loaves. She does cool little teacup familiars. They're little birds with three eyes that you can fit in the palm of your hand and all kinds of other cool stuff plush wise. If you have a Pokemon that you have been dying to get a plush of and you can't find anywhere, uh, she does take some commission work. So if her commissions are open, check them out because this is this is so high quality like this if if i didn't tell you guys that this wasn't mass produced um you wouldn't know because the quality is just above and beyond so if you like cool interesting plush give her a shout next um i can't actually show you too much because i am actually wearing this uh 
my girl Terry Ann over at Plushy Kawaii, formerly known as Unredesigns, is an incredible, incredible designer uh, for plus size alt fashion. And I picked this up from her earlier in the summer and she has just got, I, I, I love it. It's like such a cool shirt. I get compliments on it all the time and it's super comfortable, super stretchy and just the best. She has such an awesome selection of accessories, uh, Gothic Lolita Manhara, uh, just really unique pieces that you don't see a whole lot, especially for plus size bodies. And I love them and her. So give it a shot. Finally, uh, I do have three stores that I want to talk about, but I don't have any physical product on hand for them. Either I left it at home or it hasn't come in yet, or I haven't been able to place an order because they've been selling out so quickly. Uh, first up is my girl Cassie over at Let's Get Galactic Art. She does beautiful rainbow inspired prints and resin art. Um, she has these really awesome coffin shaped trinket boxes that I really want to pick one up of, but every time I try to get one, they're sold out. So I will get them when I get them. Give her stuff a look. It's really fun. Uh, also, we have my dear Scarlet over at Scarlet Kitty Designs. She does really wonderful crochet pieces. She made me these beautiful fingerless gloves for when we vend and they are hot pink and black striped. I will pop in a picture of them, uh, but she makes larger pieces. She makes shawls, she makes scarves. And I do know that she is also willing to take on custom orders at some time. So if you're in the market for something like that, give her a shout. And finally, uh, our dear Sarah over at Betty's Flea Circus. Betty's Flea Circus is the coolest vintage store I have ever seen. Sarah has an incredible eye for sourcing pieces, materials, and stuff that you don't really see anywhere else. Uh, I know that she has some dolls that I've actually been taking a look at and I hope she still has them because I'd like to pick them up soon. They're actually uh, not unlike her, but I don't have them. Uh, if you were in the market for vintage housewares, vintage books, that unique piece that you literally can't find anywhere else, check out Betty's Flea Circus. And that is it for the ones that I am going to highlight today. Uh, I know that was like a ton and there are so many more that I wish I could have talked about. If this is something that y'all are interested in and you would like to see me do more of, talk about more small businesses, uh, kind of give them a platform to show off their stuff, let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to do so. But I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you are interested in supporting me, uh, I actually have some merch of my own up on Redbubble. I've got some great designs from the wonderful Seafoam Panda and the incredible behind the scenes Karen. Uh, you can basically get them on anything. You want me on a sticker? You want me on a magnet? You want me on your laptop? You want me on a blanket? You can do that. It's cool. If you would like to stay in touch, jingle that little bell, get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Later!